welcome back to my channel of Welshman Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing Marvel Studios' new movie, The Eternals. So this movie was directed by uh, Chloe um, Zhao, who did won, just won the Oscar, I think this year, for Nomadland, is it? And she also co-wrote uh, the screenplay with Patrick Burley and Ryan Furpo. It is, and the movie stars Gemma Chan, Richard Madden, Salma Hayek, Angelina Jolie, Kamal Nanjiani, uh, Leah McHugh, Brian Tyree Henry, Lauren Ridloff, Barry Keoghan, uh, Ma, Ma Dong Siok, and Kit Harrington. So, pretty much the story of this movie is uh, these immortal beings come to Earth to protect them from deviants who prey on uh, who become prey on intelligent life on these planets by the bee so they come on you because the celestials want these planets to thrive which comes back in the movie which I'm going to do a non this is a non spoiler I'm not going to spoil it but it does get a little bit of a twist at the end so but the problem with the Eternals is they can help to progress civilization on our planet uh, slowly not rapidly but they cannot interfere in conflicts in war etc stuff like that which you get some flashback scenes during the movie of them some of them getting really pissed off that they can't help these people that they've kind of grown to love because they they you find out in the beginning that they've been on this planet they've been on earth for seven thousand years but they cannot help unfortunately with war and conflicts which obviously if you watch the trailer kit harrington's character with Gemma chang asks him well why can't you um they kind of explain it a bit, a bit of a thing in the trailer but they go into a little bit more in this one but after they fought the they've killed all the deviants unfortunately they come back and they've come back a bit stronger where they can kind of absorb one of them can absorb the powers of the eternals to get a bit stronger so yeah you so they just the story is kind of them just all trying to get back together get the get band back together as they say to try and stop the deviants but obviously there's a bit more to it than that kind of a bit of twists and turns it is which i'm not going to go into and i don't want to spoil it for people i do recommend you go and watch this movie don't listen to the rat rot and tomato score being 50 odd percent or whatever being a rot then this is a really good movie it is like i said i'll go into my my likes and dislikes obviously but i just want to say a little bit about people mourn about the marvel formula being the same so they tried something different they got a really good director like i said normal and had some very stunning visuals this movie has the same very stunning visuals and all that and great acting around the ball especially angelina jolie knocks it out of the park with her character but they're all great in this movie all the actors and that it kind of reminds me of a bit of a family drama as i told my mate in the cinema last night that for me this movie felt like a grown-up marvel movie so it actually has a sex scene in it not much of one uh it represents uh um the lg as a bq uh community it does it it represents it's got a very diverse cast and yeah it's uh it for me it felt like a grown-up marvel movie don't get me wrong some of the action scenes and it are reminiscent of marvel movies but i think overall the family dynamic of the eternals and the conflict in the movie really sets it apart from the other marvel movies and I, when i was walking out to the cinema some people didn't like it obviously and all that but you know people mourn that marvel don't do something different the minute they do something different people mourn about it i really like this movie it, it probably just pips into my top 10 marvel movies i'll have to watch it again to give it a bit more of a thing but you know 
it is up there as one not my one of my favorites definitely not in my top five and all that but i think it just gets in the number 10 maybe 9 maybe 10 it's definitely better than i like this better than shang chi and black widow this year and i like the both of their movies i really enjoy both of their movies i've done reviews on his channel about them as well if you want to go back and see i really did enjoy them but with this one i think it's it, they change differently and they they bring in the celestials a little bit more as well so how much of a threat they're going to be holding like they might be a future uh a future um villain down the line maybe in this phase so you got kang and the celestials it looks like so that's going to be very interesting to see in the next few years um so i will go into my likes and dislikes so i'll go into my dislikes first because there's only a couple um kind of falls under the same as the marvel other marvel movies where you don't have a really strong villain it didn't really need a villain in this movie you do get one you have a deviant who can like i said absorb uh the powers of the eternal so he kind of evolves but they don't really when it comes to the end they don't really give him enough i think he's voiced by bill skarsgård when i look at the cast i think it was him but i could be wrong um but yeah they don't really give him enough unfortunately at the end not much of a story for that deviant unfortunately and all that. and then there's like another you could call villain at the end of the day and that but i won't spoil that which i i liked and i i preferred that for the movie to be honest um it goes it's only a little bit of a thing it goes on it's a long film it's two and a half hours long probably didn't have to be two and a half hours long you probably could have cut 15 20 minutes off the movie but it didn't really feel like two and a half it did go pretty briskly and all that so but it is a long film and some people some of you might not like it for being that long but pretty much that's it for my uh dislikes only like i said them um, my likes uh, pretty much everything else i think the visuals are amazing in this movie again not marvel always knock it out disney overall knock it out of the park with them um, the acting's really good angelina jolie's brilliant in this you know she's she's a step up on everyone else but everyone else below her does a stellar job um i like the story um the story was really good and unique i like the family like i said i like the family aspect and the family drama of the movie it was um not enough kit harrington he's kind of a bookmark uh bookends of the of the movies like in mostly in the beginning and the end he's not anywhere in the middle of the main story and he's in one of the end credit scenes as well which i, I, I don't really want to put in my negatives like the dislikes but if you don't know much about the comics the two end credit scenes are gonna be like whew, straight over your head like i got a little bit about the comics i don't, I don't know 100 percent about the eternals and i think kit arrington's character is teased to be black knight i don't know much about them but i know about them so i kind of recognized it but if you don't i haven't got a clue and you're just following the movies you're not gonna know them at all you are but um i like some of the bits of the music as well um it's like a bit generic in some scenes when you're in the present time but when they go back and they go back to their earlier days of when they first came to earth and a bit on and off, i like how they incorporate some of the um uh where they are at the time into the music so yeah very good but like i said overall i really enjoyed this movie i i wouldn't listen to rotten tomato which probably a lot of you probably don't but don't let that put you off watching the movie i i totally recommend it and if you're one of them ones who wanted to see a little bit different from marvel that's why i like kind of like the tv shows like uh, wandavision and loki kind of give you something a little bit different in the story this is the same it thing i don't think we're gonna get an eternals 2 but i expect these characters to be sprinkled into other marvel movies so yeah i'm uh i say looking forward to seeing how uh 
they progress with phase four which uh, i think they've started off well especially with the tv shows and a couple of the movies it is i think and yeah december is going to be very good for disney when you've got hawkeye and uh, well not just disney sony as well for spider-man and all that so i'm interested to see how they um progress further on if you like this video give it a thumbs up tell me down below what you thought of the movie or if you are if you're going to see it and if you'd like to see more reviews i guess please subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time